We're now joined by Dr. Magala of EDM in Mozambique. Dr. Magala, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Dr. Magala, let's look at the 20th anniversary of AEF. How far do you think power generation has come on the African continent? No, thank you very much for inviting for uh, to speak about uh, you know the energy forum. Um, I, I think uh, has come very well uh, and it's going well, right direction. Um, but if I want to be frank, I think more, more could have been done and need to be done because the uh, population is growing, the need for transformation of uh, Africa uh, is uh, urgent and uh, we cannot be content with what uh, we have at the moment. So power uh, shortages still persist, um, unreliable supply still is there. So until we resolve this issue, we cannot uh, uh, you know, stay at rest. So while I think a lot of progress has been made, mm -hmm. I think more needs to be done so we can universalize and in fact uh, give some space to democratize the energy in Africa. Take us through some of the work that EDM does. Yeah. Well, uh, EDM is part of uh, this uh, success or failure story. I would say success, I'm positive, and I think uh, uh, that's the way we should look at the future, looking at uh, um, uh, you know, the possibilities and uh, solution innovation and uh, uh, you know, the drive to, to uh, contribute. So we are, we are there, uh, you know, with the rest of uh, Africa and the world, trying to deliver universal access by 2030. We do believe this is an agenda, is a main agenda for us, and it's achievable. Uh, uh, but we, we, we really need to um, do our homework. We need to establish a new normal, and we need to uh, plan and execute the, with, the, with the necessary discipline, uh, the plans we have. So EDM, for the next 10 years or uh, up to 2030, 10 to 12 years, we, we, we plan to get universal access by making 450,000 connections per year um, to lift our people for as low as 30% uh, access level we have today to 100 percent so if we can do that i think we'll be uh, doing our part we'll be contributing to uh, inclusive growth and also to create more opportunity to harness on uh, the demographic dividend that africa is experiencing dr magala this forum is essentially a meeting of minds uh, various stakeholders and key players within the power sectors across the continent what are you hoping will be the outcomes of discussions and deliberations this week? Yeah, I think it's a forum for learning, uh, reflections, and also uh, for looking at possibilities to, to contribute to this transformation agenda, not only for Africa, but to the whole world. So I think a lot of issues that have been discussed are relevant for policy, are making are relevant for reforms, are, are relevant for performance of utilities and the countries as a whole. So I I, I believe uh, going out or going back will be better equipped with uh, new thinking, new ways of doing things, and uh, uh, new beliefs that uh, we can uh, embed in our uh, daily lives uh, to make sure that Africa finally uh, do transform, do benefit from energy, which is uh, the basic uh, uh, input for industrialization and transformation of uh, life to a modern uh, society. We'll have to leave it there, Dr. Magala. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.